All right, so we are here with Savin Seymour. Do I pronounce your name correctly? Yes. Amazing, amazing. All right, so Savin, you are here at Khan Lions. Yes. How do you like it here so far? Uh, it's always good to be here. It's always good to be here. All right, so you're you're a speaker, right? Yes. So what is the what is the topic of, of the speech you are you are uh, you're speaking about this year? So I yesterday I spoke about the undisrupted healthcare. No, sorry, the unexpected healthcare disruptors. That was the <laughs> panel title. It sounds really difficult. Ah uh, yes, the title was definitely not chosen by me because my company is <laughs> oh, called you Super. Oh, you, you don't choose this, uh, like the titles yourself. Not necessarily because you know it's, it's the combination of, of different yeah. uh, of different speakers. Um, and so yeah, so I spoke about Supa and uh, in what we do with Supa, mm -hmm. and that is basically we're taking biometric, environmental, and genetic information from teenagers, Gen Z. Okay. We anonymize the data, Gen of Ata, so we don't know it's your data, but we contextualize the data that is interesting then for pharmaceutical companies, uh, okay. sports companies, pretty much anybody in the area of sports and health could also be providers of food. That's and then um, we pay the data originator, Gen Z, with a token, we would refer to it as a dividend, All right. so which you can cash in or you can reinvest in Super and then basically become quote unquote a shareholder and get okay. the dividend. When, when I was actually reading on this, I wasn't sure, is this blockchain or is this not based on blockchain? <laughs> Like, so I like, never use the word blockchain anymore because, because I saw like it was so overhyped, right? So, maybe, yeah. Like last year, you were like having so many talks, like with the type of blockchain in it, and I was like, is this really blockchain or is it just like a marketing thing? No, it what is, is really. It? It, it is no. So five years ago, I wrote a patent on how to use blockchain type encryption methodology for biometric data, okay. particularly hardware. Um, and so what we are doing is the, the layer of anonymization is definitely using you know, blockchain as a technology. Right. Uh, and for me it is really just enabling. So it's not the hype of blockchain, the whole crypto hype, the whole Bitcoin hype. That's something okay. completely different. We're using it literally in a context of, of, of anonymizing the biometric data. Okay. One, then of course the tokenization which you, know, you um, want to use in the context of and then the next, of course, we have, uh, or you as a Gen Z, have the ability to hold the digital wallet of all your data mm -hmm. that is encrypted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it is basically, you have a, you have a personal key, a private key. Amazing. So that is why we're using blockchain. But again, we're not using the word because it could easily be called blockchain five years from now. Yeah, you're yeah. using, you're leveraging the technology. Yes, exactly. Right? Yeah, actually like one, one and a half year ago, there was a really big hype with all the blockchains, with all the new currencies, and they were just riding the wave and not actually providing anything yes. new to the market. But what I'm really interested in is that what you're doing is quite revolutionary, isn't it? Like it's, it's I hope so. Yeah, so, so uh, we, we have a pleasure to sit here with the visionary. So what is your biggest vision of, of what you're doing? What is the vision of your company? Well, we definitely want to democratize healthcare. Okay. Uh, we want to make healthcare sexy. Okay. Uh, so we want to be able to understand understand disease patterns from an early age on, so that we actually understand what are the trigger points are. How can we do personalized mm -hmm. medicine or personalized, uh, you know, prevention as well? Okay. Uh, but in, not in a way. You know, I always refer to Pape. You know, mm -hmm. if your mom says is spinach, you know, you will never uh. want to eat spinach. <laughs> but if Pape says, hey, yeah. I was popping some spinach. You eat it. So that's basically okay. the metaphor. I really love spinach. <laughs> <laughs> Me <All right>. too. <laughs> but you know. You can see his arms. One, he loves his one completely <laughs> off-topic question, just because I, I see, like, I love watching interviews myself, uh -huh. and every time I watch interviews, it's like always running around the topics where they like uh -huh. are placed and everything. But nobody really talks about the person behind like, uh -huh. the yeah. talk. You said you are a sneaker enthusiast. Right? Yes, I am. <laughs> How many sneakers do you have? All right, I, I need to show you. Oh, no, 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 this is, oh my God, this is not my best. The, the, this the, is these just are, one. These are sneaker sprees here. This is just one. Okay. <laughs> well, what's your favorite sneaker um, at the moment? Actually, I still have, so there is a, there is a couple of pairs that came out from Adidas over the last couple of years. 
Um, and and those are the ones that I would assume are my favorite ones. Ultra boost? Uh, well, no, actually not. <laughs> <laughs> They're old school back from the 80s. They're revived. Uh, oh, so is it the, uh, what is it? The EQTs? It, well, no. Uh, so basically, if you, you remember the, the sneaks where you actually can um, plug in uh, different types of color Oh, yeah, 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 I know. I so know. Yeah, um, I brought like them those. back, basically. They re uh, I just released them about a couple of years back, three years back. Yeah. So um, those are the ones. Um, and then, of course, anything that has some type of technology integrated. So. Okay. Oh, so you like smart wear? Yes. Okay, that's why you also try to go. All the sensors yes. and everything. Do yes. you think for, for somebody that wants to go and build an apparel business, maybe even, a, let's say, an apparel empire, let's take that word, is it like the only chance to actually go for something completely new, like some wearable tech? Or do you think still like something like Nike, Adidas, where you just put a logo on a shirt can work? Well, I have to be honest, I am not the fashion brand person. Okay. Uh, I'm the brand person and, and basically we're, we're branding the data. Uh, for a fashion company or being a, for, for me it's a lifestyle company, right? right. Uh, so it's about sports, it's about putting garments on our bodies that look cool but that also have a function. Right. And that function is something that we can then use to actually, you know, capture biometric data. So right. to me, that is very important. Um, in terms of, you know, creating your own brand, you definitely have to find your niche. You have to find yeah. your past, you have to find your market, in particular now when it's, you know, Gen Z, you definitely want to, you know, look into individual styles. Um, I think that um, mass volume um, brands, are definitely not the future. Mm -hmm. Okay. How come you are so much interested in Gen Z? How, how is Gen Z so different from uh, well, there, our generation? Well, there are, there are a, few, a few different instances. One is, of course, the actual idea of you need to cap capture information from somebody at a very young age in order to understand uh, disease patterns or understand really what the trigger points are, so that you have to start very young. The other is, it's, it's the, the individualism. It's uh, the, the, the digital natives completely, uh, not having to explain what is a digital wallet or a token right. per se. Okay. Okay. Uh, you know no, that they is grow up absolutely. With that. Yeah. You know, uh, and also of course the aspect of uh, you know being a posse, like you know having a lifestyle, um, be very interested in health and consciousness. So it's of, also of a lot of culture because yes, like absolutely. Gen Z is creating cultures like our like. Yeah. Like we were like the first generation where there were no like rockers and punks and like yeah. all these things that were in the 90s. Yeah. Like like our generation didn't have that and now it's coming like all of that is coming back but like in a completely different way. Yeah, I mean I, I almost feel like, you know, when I grew up it's like what I do now is basically what I like when I grew yeah. up, you know. For example, so you were I don't talking about the shoes from the 80s. Yeah. Like, like exactly. <laughs> we don't have like something with the style in our generation with that. For us it's like very like we don't care like we put the old to the side and we try to Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like, Exactly. So I mean, that is a big that right. is a big aspect. Also, the other is you know I'm an I'm come from extreme sports. So we are like we're like a posse, we're a crew. We have each other's back. You know, very tight knit. Um, you know, and that actually is that mindset. Even though I'm not Gen Z, is basically something then that, that translates mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. easily. So um, you know, for us, it's very easy to develop for that for that generation. Yeah. Yeah. We're yeah. so yeah. close. Yeah. I mean, mindset wise, we're so close. Okay. And and, um, yeah, and and, uh, and I like I like to literally, you know, always in, you know involve people that are much younger and have a completely different mindset. Awesome. Let's go for the last That's question amazing. that yeah. we ask everybody. Yeah, we ask one question. Everybody, we actually interview. Uh huh. Uh, and the question is, if you could have a gigantic billboard anywhere with anything on it, metaphorically speaking, getting a message to millions or billions of people. What would it say and why? <laughs> so we definitely have something to do with the environment and how the environment impacts our body. Because um, I think there is not enough relationship made uh, between, or people don't really you know, understand that, you know, yes, they drink water, but out of a blasted bottle. 
but the plastic is actually in the ocean, which actually affects the fish that we eat or the pollution levels. So also how it is produced, the carbon monoxide, in, in, you know what I mean? So yes, we do something health, healthy, we drink water, but we shall not be drinking it out of a plastic bottle. Mm -hmm. Does it make sense? Yeah. So that would be, I don't, I don't, definitely don't come up with a super nice slogan in like yeah. a second. I mean, if you want to win like, a si gold si lion, like, yeah. <laughs> but not in now a second. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. That was like, so amazing. Super power your body, you know, yeah. something like that. Thank you so much You're for very your well. time. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's a pleasure. You, know, you enjoy Can Lions. Thank you, yeah, thank yeah. you. And uh, good luck on your venture. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank, thank you very much. All right, guys. <laughs>